Hi, today I want to show you how you can get rid of the scenario config for current or feature config dot current is obsolete one. If you use more spectral project uh, with one scenario, green screen, but we have here this eight warnings. So how can we get rid of them? Let's start with the scenario config. For the scenario config, it's easy. Um, you simply can't get can't use anymore the scenario.config.current property. You have to get your instance of the scenario context here, context and change. And this is simply done is done as you request your scenario context via the constructor. Specflow, when it's create an instance of this class, it make sure that you get the right scenario context um, here, parameter, and you can save this as a field in the class. And the only thing we have to do is now change the scenario context of current call to access to that field. With that changed, the ones are done for the scenario context and it works. This way, there's the same API available for scenario context directly than for scenario context. Good, let's have a look at the feature context one. Here it's a little bit different because in that case, you're here and uh, before feature hook or after feature hook. Uh, in that, because they are static methods, you can't use context injection because this is only available for an instance of the class. Static methods have no instance. Um, for the before and after feature, uh, methods, um, you can still get to the feature context simply by adding it in the in the parameter list of the method. So feature context, feature context, and simply as accessing the parameter, you have access now to the feature context also in your feature replace the last one, make a quick build, build is succeeded, no warnings left, and let's run the project to see that it's still green. Yes, it is. So, you see it's really easy to get rid of the warnings and you should do it as soon as possible. Thanks for your attention.